Hey, we're talking about a graphics card with a brown and beige color scheme, co-created by a company that has a court-like following. So of course, I had to put my best hipster shirt on. That's right, the HSUS RTX 4080 Nocturne Edition has been finally released to the masses, marking the latest entry in this very odd collab between two industry favorites. So what exactly does the Nocturne part of this Nocturne RTX 4080 actually add? Well, as we all know, Noctua means cooling, and in theory, it should allow much more heat dissipation and thus performance. Performance that, at least out of the factory, ASUS is kind of stringent in providing, seeing how there is a mere 90 MHz overclock over the base RTX 3080. Now, granted, with the cooling on this graphics card, you'll be able to take this manually way above that 90 MHz, so as long as you're ready to put in the work yourself, or just hit the auto OC button in your program of choice, it's gonna be all fine. And you are gonna have a lot, a lot of room to overclock. Seeing how this is a quad slot card with two of Noctua's most efficient fans bolted on. What, you thought it's gonna be smaller just because it has some of the most premium cooling on the market? <laughs> That's cute. Yep, it's larger than a standard RTX 4080 in pretty much all dimensions. So on top of the Noctua factor, you do have a lot of cooling to play around with. And seeing how it still uses NVIDIA's 16-pin connector, the additional cooling will come in very helpful to ensure it doesn't overheat and catch on fire. Though sadly, ASUS didn't use those four slots worth of space for much at the back, seeing how it still only uses two PCE brackets worth of reinforcement. But speaking of the back of the graphics card, I can't believe I have to praise this, but ASUS is one of the only partners this generation to provide two HDMI ports. It is still completely unacceptable how many manufacturers only put one, so it's still fantastic that ASUS kept this even for the Noctua edition. Out of the additional three DisplayPort 1.4 connectors, you have pretty much all the video outputs you could ever need. Meaning that overall, it is a pretty good RTX 4080. Granted, it's still an RTX 4080, so it's not really the best value card in the world, but still. And of course, it is a Noctua branded product, so you do have a color scheme that many people may not like, but especially if you do already have other Noctua products in your PC, like for example a Noctua CPU cooler or Noctua case fans, it might actually make for an overall interesting look. Or if you're really determined, you can just, I don't know, paint the fans over or whatever. But if you want to get this card yourself, then the Amazon links to it are going to be down in the video description below. And while you're still here, maybe check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Becky Beach, The Rage, Ella Vronyak, Bodish Welcome, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Sharon Odgun. Down there you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.